Hey guys, it's Beano. Welcome back to Final Fantasy VII Blind. In the last part, we uh, fought a really hard boss, and we have stolen the submarine from the enemies. Oh, jeez. Oh, wow, this is terrible. We don't have much time left. I want to die. There's still so much more I've got to do. I never even got to do my special victory dance in battle. All right, then make this your first victory. Go on, show him. Yes, sir. Remember your last training. Begin. Yes, sir. I'm back, and now I ain't got no regrets. Attack! <laughs> Just fine. Music. I forgot to heal. Nah, yeah, shouldn't matter too much. How bad are these guys gonna be? Yeah! <laughs> these are not the damage. Captain, I gotta hold on any longer. Oh, jeez. Take, take one hit. He's like, nah. Hey. Yeah. Oh man. Oh jeez. The special pose. What is this? Oh. Oh, he wanted his victory pose and he couldn't get it. Ugh, they got me. <laughs> so, yeah. So, <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's enough for a level up. Level 43, I'm getting there. Someone, please. I'm sorry. I can't take it anymore. The lack of space, the shaking, the roar of the engine. What are we going to do? We saw a submarine but can't pilot it. Come on, Red 13 knows how to do it. It's moved. Red 13 knows how to pilot a submarine. Cloud, try it. Hey, you're right. I do feel a little bad driving. No sweat, just leave everything to me. <laughs> uh, okay. What's down here? Oh, wait. So I can apparently answer from either side. Apparently, Tifa just vanished. Well, now what? Uh, read the manual. Let's read that first. Submarine Operation Manual. Beginners Edition. Bottom Placements. Oh, gosh. Uh, apparently, I can fire torpedoes. Uh, presently, on the ocean floor near Junon, a Red Leader submarine carrying huge material is being escorted by covert Shinra submarine units. Furthermore, it has been confirmed that several mines have been dispersed onto the ocean floor. The ocean floor may can only be monitored with Shinra's sonar radar screen. Enemy subs can only be detected within the sonar area. Get in front of the detected enemy sub and lock on. Push switch to fire the torpedo. The mines are found on, on the radar screen at the top of the indicators. The mines inflict great damage, so be careful. Sink the Red Leader submarine carrying the huge material. Ah, uh, wait, what? Okay. Oh, jeez. Oh, great, the page down key. Well, let's do it! The switch. Oh, change the screen mode. Oh, gosh! Whoa! Where are we playing? Uh, how do I go forward? B. No, that's backwards. X! Thank you, Xbox controller. What's my shooting button? Why is the pause? Okay, so I see. So the... Okay! I was about to just acknowledge that I figured out what the mines were, but I guess... I'm too good! How, how do I keep going? Oh, I gotta hit X on my keyboard. Oh, yeah. Hooray! Was I supposed to have 10 minutes for that? Phew, we did it! The huge material should be at the bottom of the sea by now. Let's continue the search. All Shinra submarine units, do you read? All Shinra submarine units, do you read? <clears throat> Must be from Shinra. Report number two. Number two? I saw that written at the dock. They must mean this sub. Alright, I'll do it. This is Shinra number two. Everything's normal. Roger. Your next mission is, return to Junon Dock. We will transport the huge material from the airport. Those without other assignments will report for guard duty. 
That is all. Over and out. Turn on the airport. We should make it if we hurry. Forget about the huge material for now. We're climbing. Take off. <laughs> and now I'm under the ocean. And now I'm above the ocean. And now I'm somehow docking. Automatically. Okay, so... Jeez. I thought I was set with the high wind. But apparently I can just do whatever the heck I want. So I guess let's head to June on. Let's see what's going on. Unless... This guy's just gonna completely tell me off for coming this way, or at least he wants me to pay. Alright, I'm guess yeah. <laughs> uh, I don't think I need to come back here. Because cause we're not really saying anything different. Maybe I gotta get another piece of huge material. In that case, it's time for the high wind. So where are we going? I, this is a new setting. And a bunch of stuff has happened. Rocket Town. Okay. I'm not facing you. <laughs> wow, he's level 9 learn pilot. Uh, Rocket Town. That's the one with the rocket. It's no rocket anymore. I gotta <laughs> see if I can remember where Rocket Town is. It's over here, isn't it? So now we got a submarine. That's not Rocket Town. We got a submarine, and I don't really know what to do with it. That's not Rocket Town. No. That's not Rocket Town. I don't think Rocket Town's over here. Although, someone told me that there's like some side little areas I can go to. This looks like one of them. This also looks like a place I've been to already. This does not look like Rocket Town. But apparently, yeah, some people tell me that uh, there's some places I can go to. Wait, this is like... Oh, I'm glad you can make it. Ah, oh, see, like, I've been here. It's fine. This is, what is that? This is a coral reactor. So, like, people are telling me that I really need to heal up. Oh my goodness, stay. I should have really stayed at the end back there. Ah, oh, these guys are weak. Oh, laser. But, yeah. I got a bunch of stuff I can talk about. So, basically, um, Valve announced a bunch of stuff at GDC. There's also a couple of other things, but most, a lot of people were looking forward to Valve saying stuff. And I think that. There's some really interesting stuff to to kind of discuss, but I feel like a lot of it has probably been said already. Or at least there's no like it, this is this isn't a controversy that you can discuss. This is just kind of like someone's announced stuff. And so really I can't I can't say too much about it. But basically, this is what Steam kind of announced. They were like, there's gonna be more Steam machines coming out in November. Or like actual Steam machines, I think. Alongside the new controller, which I think it, I, I, I don't really have much more to say other than what it was to begin with, other than it's a refined design, sure. Because, it, like, yeah, that, my biggest problem with the, um, I really gotta stop doing that. Uh, my, uh, my biggest concern with the, uh, Steam controller initially is that Rocket Dance somewhere over here, isn't it? That's not Rocket Town. I have no clue where I'm going, if you want. Um, yeah, but, uh... No clue where I'm going. Oh, this must- yeah, this is it. Okay. Uh, so yeah, I think the design's better. Um, because it actually has an analog stick. Uh, in, thank you very much, I will say at the end. It's probably gonna cost me 200 gil. 300! Even better. Um, yeah. Other than that, though, they also announced the Steam Link, which I think is a good idea. It basically does streaming to a TV directly. I hope it's got Wi-Fi in it, though. Just, just for people with the option. Uh, the Ethernet's nice, though, because, you know, less lag, the better. Uh, but, um... There's a bunch of Shinra people here messing with the rocket. Is my rocket okay? Shinra's serious about launching that piece of crap rocket, but why now? 
What is young President Rufus doing by getting all those mechanics together? <laughs> okay. Um, in that case, we should probably... I should probably save outside. Just so I, I don't want to have to redo my ace piloting on that submarine. Um, but yeah. Oh, you know, it's a weird thing. You can enter the menu just before you exit the place. So I'm going to walk up and I'm out of the place. Yeah. I, I noticed I did that before and I was like, what? Um, so yeah. But, uh, yeah, so, I think last thing they announced was, uh, some things on Steam VR, And I'm like, overall, a lot of good announcements, but it's like... Nothing that I can really discuss other than... Oh, and Source 2, that as well. I think the interesting part is that, like, they're not making you pay royalties, but you have to distribute your game through Steam. I think that, that kind of proves that Valve is kind of... Like, Google now. They just make so much background revenue, they can do whatever the heck they want. Oh, okay. Hello, old man. Hmm, a spectacle. Is something about to happen? Oh, I'm getting excited. What? Excuse me, Mr. Man. Those terrorists are here! Be a terrorist! Okay. Back! I'm a little bit worried that I just got the submarine and I don't have any use for it. I feel like I might need it later, but you never know. Whoop. Hey! Don't let him get any further! Everyone, attack! Oh my gosh. This is just like the Midgar portion of the game, where you just get spammed by so many soldiers. They're not soldiers, they're just Ah! Electric gas fire! That probably messed up the time thing. So I didn't just think that. Me! Oh, it sleeps? I guess it's just a nothing on the deeper. But now she can limit break. Except her strength isn't that good for a limit break, so that's. Unless I swap to a limit break, I don't know. S mine! Okay. Hey, ya! Uh. Uh, you're not getting anywhere. Uh, no, no, uh, no. Uh, what? Uh, um, uh, um. Okay. Ah, you got Chlory Man in the back there. Slash him. Yeah, coffee. Man, I just love making class like that. Ow. Somersault. Ow. Yeah, these guys are really weak. I don't, I don't know. It's it's weird after that boss, which would just automatically kill me, and then it's like these guys are just like pushovers. Yeah. The ore material level up. Nice. Okay. Uh. So yeah. Ow, dude. Sid, what are you doing? Wait, Cloud. You're gonna kick those Shinra out of my rocket and take me with you. Dang it, Sid. Uh, I really think I need Vincent, but I feel like the game's gonna tell me off for not having healer, and I don't think I should just force. Uh, oh, I should probably yeah. I gotta do the whole material swap, don't I? I'll just check his equipment first. So he's got the the javelin. He has the scimitar, which ooh, because that's triple, but you only get two of them. I'm gonna take it purely because the damage is also good. Uh, I just kind of equipped something that was way better. I had the diamond bangle, didn't I? The fire, oh, fire armor. Ugh. Uh, white cape. Uh, my controller just keeps dying all this time. Ugh. Uh, I'm just gonna equip the gem ring. I don't think anything too bad is gonna come up. Uh, arrange, exchange, exchange the arrange. So what do we got going on? We're gonna give him an elemental in his weapon, and we're gonna give it the fire comet, the comet, 
And, uh, we'll give him some more. And, fire. I don't really have anything to use there. Let's keep his gold. Good material. Give him sense. And, we'll give him Bahamut. And, yeah, that's about it. Ah, uh, okay. So, I guess that's the thing. Uh, yep, I get it. Okay. Alright, let's show those Shinra. Okay. Up we go. Up the rocket. Oh, it didn't launch, didn't it? Oh. oh. <laughs> the long walk up. Ah! You again? I forgot, I feel like this guy's come already, but I forgot his voice. We will eliminate everyone who gets in Shinra's way. Okay. It's the battle of the century. Just give him some stabs. Let's see what happens. Please. Let's get rid of these guys. These guys are weak. <laughs> he's, he's weak. Grenade! That's weak as heck. Oh, retaliation hit. Okay. No clue really what to do for TV, you know. Uh, I'll give him the good old Grand Spark. Okay. You're just gonna spam that. You're gonna spam that on Cloud, you jerk. Because I'm like, I may as well. Call it! <laughs> oh, that's classic. Oh, just meteor rain and yeah, wreck him basically. This guy's probably got a lot of health knowing him. Ugh, ugh. Oh. Really? Really? That took like a two minutes. Really? Oh, he's not gonna die like the other guy. Had to get again. I don't know. The goddess! You, you, why are you here? Root of the Turks should have been here. Too bad, those guys were over there. Oh man, the Turks being done in like that, but I won't let you get through. I really should have healed Cloud before I went in there. This guy shouldn't be too bad though. Look at him, just one, one guy. Uh, take the usual cure 2 on Cloud. Ah, uh, you jerk. Hadouken! Yep, of course. Perfectly just enough. Waste a perfectly good cure too. Uh, so I've got a yeah life heal someone, so I don't need to use my uh, Phoenix Downs. Although Phoenix Downs are really cheap. Okay, come on, you can stop spamming out on Cloud, can you? Use a regular cure. I don't think he needs the whole thing right now. Just keep him alive a little bit. Yeah, 900, that's a fair bit. Why is this guy, like, taking a small beating? Got some experience, yeah! Okay, so, <laughs> he is dead. Okay, so let's, uh, magic up. Magic, cure. There we go. So life is restore life, let's regen. Regen gradually restores health. I don't know, sometimes I might be considering just like starting a boss battle with that, with regen, just regen everyone. It might be good in the long run. So we're gonna steal this rocket. Ah, <laughs> oh, gosh. Hey, what the hell are you guys doing? Hey, just when I thought something was going on, you came back. Listen to me, Captain. We're gonna launch this rocket. Huh, what are you talking about? We're gonna load a material bomb in this and blow up media. Our rocket's gonna save the planet. Oh man, this is so cool. Wait a minute. Shut up, just shut the hell up. How's the rocket? <laughs> accent's gone. It's pretty much okay. But we plan to run it into meteor on autopilot, but the most important device is broken. 
broken. How's the repair gone? Shara's doing it. Oh, great. What a bunch of wizards you guys are. She's going to take 100 years. I'll take over, so don't worry about the autopilot. Hey, go ahead. Tell everyone. All right, Captain. Good luck. Okay. And then Cloud's like, Hey, Sid, what are you doing? There are generations of knowledge and wisdom inside the material. We're going to borrow their powers and save the planet from Sephiroth. There's no way we can lose a huge material. You understand that, right? Yeah, I understand. I all understand that material is precious. I also understand what you're thinking. But listen, I don't give a rat's ass whether it's science or magical power. No, I guess if I had to choose, I'd rather put my money on the power of science. Humans only used to walk around on the ground, but now they can fly. And finally, we're about to go into outer space. Science is a power created and developed by humans, and science just might be what saves this planet. I was able to earn my living, thanks to science. So to me, there's nothing greater. Now quit your worrying about what Shinra's gonna do. I don't want to regret not having done something later. But Sid, shut the hell up, I don't want to hear it. Alright, time to get to work. Anyone who ain't involved, get the hell out of here. What the hell, what the hell happened? Hey, hey! Palmer. Palmer, what the hell did you do? They said they finished repairing the autopilot, so I launched it. God damn it, Cher. Why did she pick today to get so fast? Damn, won't even budge. It's completely locked up. Hey, 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 almost lift off. What the hell, no countdown? It just don't seem the same without it. Hey, 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 blast off. Okay. Buckle your seatbelts, we're going into space. Apparently. Literally, I stole a submarine last part. And now we're going to space. Logical conclusion. Whoa, gosh. Everybody is dead. By the way, should rockets do that? Tilt while they're inside the launching area. I know they tilt like when they go into orbit, or like even when they're going up. But like, they don't tilt that immediately, do they? They preferably go straight up a bit first. To space. Why are we going to space? Whose idea was it to go to space? I finally made it out of space. Let's see, how's the core set? Yup, it's headed for a collision with media. Can we do something if it goes on where... That damn Palmer went out his way to lock the autopilot device. We might not be able to change course. Is this the end? Huh? What the hell are you saying? You're still young. Don't give up so easily. I'm not gonna crash into media. Just watch. Okay, sure. I keep an escape pod on the rocket just for emergencies like this. I deciphered the lock code on the escape pod. We'll bail right before we crash into media. Hey, what about the huge material? If you want the material, do whatever you want. The material should be there after you climb that ladder. You sure? I don't know. I know, I know what I just said a minute ago. Okay, sure. <laughs> but maybe all that I really want was just to go into outer space. So why don't you all do whatever you think is right? Okay. Alright, so I guess we're bailing. Climb that ladder. So we're going to space. I finally found the huge material. Oh, I was it right here. It's structured so that the lock can be opened if we enter the passcode from this control panel. I said that was a password. I'm a little bit worried that I just completely skipped what the password was. Did he say the password was like here? Okay. Can't exit this far. Maybe it's down this ladder in this identical room. Whoa, crap. What? Whoa, crap. Gah, damn, my leg's stuck in the debris. Sid! Oh jeez, what? I can't, it's so heavy I can't lift. Don't worry about me, hurry up and go. If you don't hurry, the rocket's gonna crash into media. I can't go on without my friends. 
you. No time to worry about all the people. I'm gonna do whatever I can. You're stupid. You're really stupid. Tank number eight blew up. So tank number eight really was malfunctioning. Oh. Shara, you were right. But this is the end for me. Don't say that shit, Sid. Shit. <laughs> Got her voice as well. Huh? Shara. I tagged along. I'm coming to help you. What <laughs> you should casually go into space. You stupid. <laughs> oh gosh, Sid. The escape pod is this way. Please hurry. Can I just run away? I really need that huge material. I'm gonna get that. Because I feel like now this is the way to go. See, the, okay, okay. I've had this problem numerous times. I've always gone like, I've, I've had this problem where it's like, I have no clue which way I'm going. And I go in one way. I feel like I'm going the right way and I want to see something on the side. Okay. Uh... Hey Cloud, you know how to use it, right? Every time it says enter passcode, push OK, cancel, menu, or switch. If you punch in the right code, it'll unlock and you can get the huge material. So what order am I supposed to enter the passcode? I don't know, just try and punch in the code randomly. Uh, okay. Push some stuff. Yep. Three minutes. Seems like you missed the code. If we don't enter the correct passcode before the protection- Oh. Uh, press buttons, press buttons. Ah. Ah. Code number three was cancel, okay. Second code wasn't cancelled. Last code was menu. Maybe it was cancelled. Oh god, he's not helping! So it's got menu. And I feel like I've got to push OK. The first code wasn't switched. I didn't press switch. Oh my gosh! I don't know what my buttons are! <laughs> Freaking Sid. I'm not going to get this, am I? No clue. Sid, you didn't say anything useful. Ah, oh, there! The protection system just activated! Cloud, too bad, but we got to let it go. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to... 
keep that save, and I will try to get that. I will try to get that. I've come for for seconds. Okay. So I okay. So basically, my controller. For some odd reason, the uh, switch button is left button. Or it's Y. It's not Y, because Y now doesn't do anything. So... Or, I guess it didn't do Y back then. So, okay. Oh, what? Okay. I just punched something in and apparently it worked. Whoa, pretty good. You got the passcode in a single try. You must have known the passcode. If not, it's impossible. Uh, sure. I just kind of messed, played, played something and apparently it worked. Partially based on what the previous thing was telling me, but I swear I put that in. Uh, I have another cutscene down the bottom, so I'm gonna jump ahead a little bit. Whoosh! Alright. Alright. Let's go! Whoosh! Hurry, I'm going to detach the escape pod. Hey, Shara, does this pod really fly? It'll be okay, I've checked it. Then I'm relieved. Thanks. Okay. Oh. Space. <laughs> so this is outer space. Man, it's the real thing. I'm really here in outer space. Which is why gravity is still kind of a thing. Got it. So long, Shinra number 26. Oh, guys, we put some landing things in this, right? Oh. Uh, you know, now I think about that rocket really isn't going to stop that. The sky is falling. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Gosh, geez, someone hyperbeamed the sky. <sighs> Wait, really, that worked? Yeah, oh, wait. Oh gosh, jeez, you got some Sonic Adventure 2 going on here. What? What the heck? It's the true intentions of media. Well, that's great. Oh man, Bulganagan's sad. And so are all the people standing outside the HQ. They're still panicking? So it apparently didn't work. Whether it's in the other's plan was a failure. What a boss, but I kinda hope it'll work. We've been bothering them as much as we can. But there ain't no other way. Wonder if we've been wrong all this time. Makes you worry, doesn't it? Don't worry, think. Hey, the girl's right. You start worrying and there's no stopping it. Things just start falling apart and get worse and worse. You're pretty damn optimistic. You up to something? 
Yeah, I've been thinking about this and that. All the time we've been up here looking at the planet. I've been thinking ever when we were floating in the ocean in that skate pod. I've been thinking, too, about the universe, planet, ocean, how wide and big. No matter where I go and what I do, it won't change a thing. What? Maybe you're right. But I came up with something different. I always thought this planet was so huge, but looking at it from space, I realized it's so small. We're just floating in the dark. It kind of makes it feel powerless. On top of that, it's got Sephiroth festering inside it like a sickness. That's why I say this planet's still a kid. A little kid sick and trembling in the middle of this huge universe. Someone's gotta protect it. You follow me? That someone is us. Sid, that's beautiful. Yo, Sid, you even got to me! Now what? How are we gonna protect the planet from media? I'm still thinking about that. Dang it! <laughs> huh? What? Oh, jeez, what's the thing we got going on? Did you hear something? Maybe it's the planet's scream, or is it medium? What did this spin around? Hey, how do we know that this is really the planet's scream? Did you forget? Bougainhagen told us. Bougainhagen. Let's go to see Grandfather, to Cosmo Canyon. I'm sure he'll be able to tell us something that will be helpful. Uh, okay. So I guess, uh... <laughs> Maybe it's just me, but the ship has been remodeled without me knowing it. All these switches and levers, they're kind of getting to me. Okay. Ah man, he's level 10. Uh, so I'm gonna land this thing and we'll see what... Did I just land the thing and still enter it? Classic. Okay. So... Anyway... Anyway... With that, I'll end off the part here of Final Fantasy VII Blind. I'll see you guys next time. See you guys then.